hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button excuse me oh my god and that notification bell so you do not miss an upload from me so if i look like um the same thing that i have on from the last video it's because i do because it's the same day it's probably about um uh, 30 minutes after I finish uh, filming the last video. So, um, I, you know, I did the cooking, I did the smothered pork chop, I mean the pork chops, the smothered potatoes, and the um, corn on the cob. And yes, I do still have my cocktail here. I just refreshed it. And I am sitting on my front porch just kind of chillaxing for a minute you know i'm not really doing anything just getting my mind right you know so uh yeah um i thought that i would come back to you guys today i am god y'all you know what I promise you, I had a, uh, I had a whole speech planned while I was sitting at the dining room table, which is why I decided to uh, come back on because I had a whole speech planned, and now I don't remember what the hell I was going to tell you. Maybe if I put these damn cocktails down, then I can remember some shit, huh? But anyway, so I'm like, so I'm sitting on my front porch and. I hope you died, guys. You should not hear the music, but you might hear the TV. So I think I'm gonna go turn the TV either off or put it on mute. So give me just a second. Okay, guys. So I just uh, um, turned the TV down. So like, so I'm just out here just chilling and um, thinking about work tomorrow. You know what, guys? I, I promise you, I wish that I had my coins in order because I am so tired of working. Um, I need to hit the lottery. I need to hit one of those two, three hundred million, you know, because I'm just tired. And I think it's... It's pretty much time for me a vacation because when I start feeling like this, um, it, it's time for a vacation, and and I need to do at least two weeks. A week is just not enough for me because I'm I'm getting so where I am not. I don't know how should I should have put this. I, I can't say that I'm not a morning person because I kind of am a morning person. I prefer to get up. Like if I have errands to run, I want to get up and get out when the stores first open or whatever it is that I need to do. If just like last weekend, I went to the grocery store and um, this, I was going to Walmart and guys, I totally, totally intended to vlog while I was in Walmart. And I forgot. And I don't know if I mentioned that in one of the other videos. But uh, Walmart opens at 7. So I was going to Walmart and I was going to the grocery store. And... Um, the plan was to hit Walmart first because both stores actually opened at 7. So the plan was to hit Walmart and um, go to the meat store to get my meats and everything and then come back home. Um, my husband normally puts the meat up so I just leave that for him and then I was going to go to Aldi's. Aldi's don't open. Hey! Aldi's doesn't open until uh like nine o'clock but um you know it, it kind of worked out because when i was in walmart 
and I don't know if I miss if I didn't mention I'm gonna mention it now so I'm in Walmart and I, I actually go to Walmart pretty often but I go uh, to get the pet food or if there's like a couple of other items that I need that I know I can get from Walmart I would get it there but I mainly go for to get my dog food because I get the big 40 pound bag and I um, get like their dinner sticks their treats and things like that and then I would get like Kool-Aid and you know like say little other things that I know that I can get from Walmart I will get it while I'm there oh my husband's um, sugar he uses equal sugar and they have the 800 um, the 800 pack for like ten dollars so I would get that so anyway while I'm in Walmart I decided to, oh shoot I need some soap and some bath gels for my husband right so now mind you when I go to Walmart I kind of don't really look around anymore because I start seeing stuff that I can't buy so I when I go to Walmart I go directly to where I'm going and get out the store I don't even look around anymore because like I said you know window shopping and then I see stuff that I want and I can't purchase it so anyway I, said, Ooh, I need some soap and my husband needs some um, shower gel and stuff I didn't know that they have the soap and deodorant locked up now and I, I should have known that because a lot of places do now because when the thieves come in that's the first thing that they can actually go to and I've actually been in um, a few stores not Walmart but I've been to like the family dollar stores and people were actually stealing and I saw them stealing they was, you know putting stuff like uh, in their pants under the shirt they would have like uh, jogging pants on or have like um, a string or something tied around the bottom of their leg so it doesn't fall out and one particular day it, it pissed me off and I went and told uh, one of the workers okay this guy's in this aisle stealing and he locked the door he locked the door so the guy couldn't get out and took the stuff off him now it was so crazy because they didn't search him really good because when he got out the store and I went out like right behind him or a few minutes after him he still had some stuff and he pulled it out and showed to me like ha ha they didn't get this now why you tricking you know so that's the kind of uh uh like the reaction that he did to me you know you, you know what I'm saying like huh now what okay I got this I still got some stuff you know so but I see it like literally all the time in the family dollar stores and it, it pisses me off because I'm like if I have to pay for this stuff get me you gotta pay for it too you know what I'm saying so guys, I'm sitting on my front porch and there's some, some kids out here, my neighbor's uh, kids and this is in there, that's a gorgeous car. Uh, so if you hear all of the, uh, the commotion and stuff, that's what it is. But anyway, yeah, and I get mad because I'm like, God damn, I want car for this shit. I got to pay for it, you got to pay for it too. But anyway, so Walmart locks up their soap bath soap and deodorant in the walmart that i normally go to now, i don't know if it's all the walmarts but the ones that i go to they do probably not in the good neighborhoods but they did and so i text my daughter i'm like wow Walmart um, locks up their stuff. Now she said, yeah, they've been doing that for a while. And I'm like, oh, wow. But like I said, when I go, I actually go all the time. But I just go for just what I'm getting and then get out. And she actually goes for her and her guy, you know, getting a household stuff or whatever. But yeah, so anyway, I go to the front where the person is that actually checks your receipt. 
she uh, was like, well, you know, there's a button right there. Just hit the button. <laughs> and that will alert somebody to come. Okay. I'm feeling it right now, mommy. I can't play with you, girl. I just can't play with you, girl. So, I said, oh, okay, so I hit the button. And I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. I waited about 10 minutes. Okay. And nothing. So I go back up to the front. Um, ask the girl, can you have someone page whoever's going back in with the key? You know, to get into the soap. And it's in um door. So she does that, and I actually hear them over the PA system paging whoever it is that they're looking for with the key. Okay. I waited about a good another 10, 15 minutes. Now mind you, I got this. Mind you, I got there about seven o'clock. This dog is about to get my arm off, y'all. So, oh my goodness. <laughs> so, uh, no one showed up. So I'm like, by this, by this time, another girl then came over to that area and trying to get something, something, something like where they paid somebody, so I'm waiting on them to come and open it, the, the cabinet. No one ever showed up. We waited good, had been 15 minutes. And you know, just standing in one spot, uh, walking, you know, back and forth, pacing back and forth. It's like, it's like a long time. So I'm like, forget it. I go on to the area that I'm going to to look for whatever it is that I'm looking for, you know, my, my pet products and stuff like that. And I see a guy, uh, he comes out the back, really, really nice guy and gorgeous. He was just so cute, this white guy too, really cute. Uh, he had very nice customer service and I hope the next time that I, I go in there I see him because I'm definitely going to let uh, someone know that he was really nice, he was real helpful. So. He say, um, came out, I'm walking past. He said, hi, how are you today? You know, I don't know, everything okay. He was like, so did you find everything okay? You need help with anything? I said, I looked at him, I said, yeah. So, I was trying to get some soap and blah, blah, blah. I ran the whole thing down too, right? <laughs> and he was like, what? Nobody showed up? Nobody showed up. I waited for 15, 20 minutes twice. Twice. He was saying, so, do you still want the soap or are you just going to say forget it and just go somewhere else? I said, I still need the soap, but, you know, I want to get it while I'm here so I don't have to go someplace else. So, he was like, okay, so, he was like, let's go up there and see what's going on, right? We walked all the way back to the front. Now, imagine I'm in the back of the store. The soap is in the very, very front of the store, a couple of hours down from the door. I'm in the way back of the store where the pet uh, stuff is. I say, forget it. We walked back there. And he said, I'm going to call somebody to come here and unlock this door. You're not leaving here without your soap. I'm going to make somebody open this door. I said, okay. So, mind you, when I get back up there, I didn't see the girl that was there with me. Um, I thought she had, you know, somebody had came eventually after I left and she got her stuff and she was gone. So, um, he goes up to the front and do whatever it is he do. I hear him, uh, not him, but I hear the PA system again, paging for whoever it is that they have with the key for this soap, right? Nobody came. I saw the guy again. He said, you're still standing here? No, he said, you're still waiting here? Did anyone come? I said, no one has come. I've been here about 10 minutes. No one has come. He said, let me go up here and see what's going on. So I hear them page again. So he's doing his job. He has someone paging him. So I'm waiting another 10 minutes. So, all in all, I don't wait it all together. I probably waited in this soap aisle for about an hour. 
No one ever showed up. I say forget it. I went and got the rest of my stuff. And as I was getting the rest of my stuff, I saw the girl that was there with me. And she said, she was on her phone. And then she saw me. She said, hey, did you ever get the soap? I'm like, no. She said, no, you never got the soap. I said, no, I see neither. You didn't either, right? And she said, no, I didn't. But guess what? Whoever the person was with this key is not here. I was like, what? They have one person with the key to unlock the, the cabinet for the soap. Where's the manager? How does the manager not have a key? How is there not a uh, someone in the office there's like all the keys to everything sitting in the office? How only one person are this whole big ass corporation with one key? That's dumb as hell. Dumb as hell. Dumb. So her and I, we bitched about it. You know, we laughed about it like, wow, really? But anyway, I end up going to Family Dollar the next day, getting my soap because um, I had to have the soap. I don't think I only had like two bars left and my husband only had uh, like one uh, shower gel left. I thought the one that he was using was on one he had left, which was why I was kind of in hurry to get it because I, I'm like this. If you use things every day which includes soap, toilet paper, toothpaste, paper towels, dish liquid, uh, sanitary things, stuff like that, you are not supposed to run out. And it's so crazy because I remember a time when my husband and I uh, first got together and I went to the grocery store. Well, this is not when we first got together, but when we first, when we merged households, we moved in together. And I had a bulk load of toilet paper, a bulk load of uh, paper towels and toothpaste and seasoned salt and all that kind of stuff. He was like, why did you buy so much of this? What do you mean, why did I buy so much? Because this is the things that we use every day. You're not supposed to run out of it, right? Now, mind you, my mother never told me that. I figured that out on my own. So, now, I know when I would go to his apartment, we were still living separate, he would have, like, like six rolls of toilet paper, like, maybe eight rolls of, I mean, uh, eight things. So, you know how you get the big box of soap. And that's it. It was just him. But my thing is... Things that you use every day don't run out of. Guys, if you agree with me, please comment down below because those things you don't run out. You don't want to be going to your neighbor house talking about, can I get a roll of toilet paper? Why do I got to loan your roll of toilet paper? You're supposed to have toilet paper. You know, so he was like, why do you have so much of this? Why do you get so much? This is just too much. No, it's not. What is going to do? Go to waste? What we're going to do? Use it? It's never going to go to waste because we're going to use toilet paper every day. We're going to use soap every day. We're going to use toothpaste every day. We cook practically every day. We, I mean, everything that I get in bulk is used every single day of our lives. So, no, it is not going to go to waste. We're going to use it. So, yeah. And I'm like, so, if these things that we need all the time and come one of those times that we need to go to the store and uh, we need to get whatever we need to get and we can't afford everything or we don't have the money for this and we need guess what we got it and like I said my mother never taught me that and if I'm not mistaken my mother never bought things in bulk I buy soap toilet paper paper towels, deodorant, lotions, uh, his shaving stuff. Um, like I say, literally everything that's used every single day. Even when I go to the grocery store before, it, when it was just me and my daughter, I would go to the grocery store and I would buy things that would last like two or three months. I would just like need to pick up like milk and bread and eggs and you know, things like that, right? So, my daughter has, 
you know, grown up, moved out, got her own family, and I literally still do the same thing, even though it's just me and my husband. And he was like, well, we're going to get rid of the deep freezer and just use the refrigerator. He said, no, we're not. No, we're not because our refrigerator, we have a side-by-side -side refrigerator. If, if you guys have one of those, you know that the freezer is, is really cute, but it's not that big. So, no, we're not getting rid of the deep freezer. So, when I go to the grocery store, I may take maybe um three to four hundred dollars to go to the grocery store and for the two of us that may last us about good two or three months we would um pick up like i said whatever we need at that moment which for us is milk bread eggs all the time because um we would get like this straw is so i y'all be just so upset down all the time but anyway wow um, my husband gave me the straw like that. But anyway, um, so I still shop like that. And like I said, it's just the two of us. And when I go to the grocery store, I take like three, four hundred dollars with me. And I have extra just in case, depending on what I need, you know, because sometimes I may need household stuff. And the three, four hundred dollars is strictly food. I would spend so much on meat so much on um, cabinet and pantry stuff, you know, if I need seasonings or whatever, excuse me, uh, I would take a little extra for household stuff because may, you know, may have run out of soap or whatever, just liquid and, you know, and not only that, it's like um, unexpected incidentals. I have a little extra for unexpected incidentals because things happen when you go to grocery store, oh shoot, stuff like your cleaning supplies that you know I like try to buy like the the uh, pine saw, the light saw, the fabulous so um, this look I get in quantity so um, when I get it it's like you might get like two four whatever or something like that so if I I would get uh, you know so so the two four whatever it may be packaged in two so I would get two packs of them and I have four okay and uh, yeah so that would makes me have stuff for a long period of time and sometimes it gets so where I actually have so much stuff that I'm like I would rebuy it and I'm like oh shoot I had this I wasn't sure because I didn't look so what I, I start doing is for like the household stuff I would actually look under the cabinet or in the pantry where we keep it at to see exactly what I do need because I'm not trying to spend the money on stuff that I already have you know that's just a waste so but like I said if we need stuff like in between the time we go to grocery so like I said mostly it's milk bread eggs uh probably coffee for him um it wouldn't be a whole lot of stuff so it's not a problem because one of us can stop by the store on the way home and then if we see some extra stuff that we, you know we might want we'll pick it up which is fine so yeah so i still shop like that today those things you know you should not run out of and like i said i i learned that uh on my own my mother actually did not teach me that she did not tell me that and like I said I don't remember um I, if I'm not mistaken when she went to the grocery store so like if she went to jewels for three hundred dollars so back then jewels wasn't as high as it is now so her three hundred dollars would go for meat canned goods um household stuff whatever she need to have at that moment and then in less than a month uh, she's calling my auntie can you you know loan me blah 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 yada yada so I need to get food or whatever so I don't know how I came about uh, as far as okay these are things that's needed all the time get it in bulk I, I do not know how I started doing that I cannot tell you to this day 
and I've been living on my own since I was 19. Matter of fact, four days, about, I think about four days before I turned 19, I've been living on my own. And I, I, I don't know, I don't know if it's because at the time when I moved on my own, I, I, I wasn't working and I was on public assistance and my rent, guys, was only $25. So I would pay my rent up for the whole year or like six months increment, you know. So like say this month when I got my little public aid check, I would pay the rent up for six months. And then the next month or the next two months when I got it, I paid up, up an, uh, another six months. Now they gave us food stamps and uh, so maybe that's how I started because I knew I was only getting a check and food stamps once a month. It's it's probably the way I started, and I I remember I used to shop at Fair Play. Um, Fair Play was a really nice store. It wasn't expensive like it is now. It has gotten really expensive, so I haven't been there in a very long time. But um, and they would have like uh, the big. 24 rolls of angel salt and it was like um, like four or five dollars and and to me that was a very good deal you get 24 rolls 12 for like four or five dollars hell yeah i'm buying that and i would buy i would get two you know so they so that's probably where um i end up getting it from but like i said my mother then she's never told me that but it's so crazy because as my daughter was growing up, she uh, she watched me, and it was you know so she would buy she buy her things in bulk now too, for that very same reason, and it was so crazy because for the first year, uh, when she moved out and got her own place. Is that a grasshopper? Is that a grasshopper? Look like a dog. Just leave. But anyway, for the first probably six months when she when she moved out in her own place, and she would be like, um, "Ma, I'm finna go to the grocery store." I'm like, oh, "Okay, you know, because we like literally talk every day. Even now, we work together." We still talk every single day, even outside of work. If, if we at work all day together, we talk. Um, I go back there and hang out with her on my lunch break, or we go walk on the lunch break. She can hang out with me, whatever. Then I get home, go, girl. I got to tell you. But anyway, so she, uh, she'll call me and she say, "Well, you know, we we, we just holding a conversation." Just say, yeah, I'm finna um, go to the grocery store. I gotta go to the grocery store tomorrow. And yeah, yeah. she like, what I need? And I'll be like, huh? She like, I'm, I'm holding the phone. Like, I'm thinking she like, just thinking, you know. She like, ma. I'm like, what? She like, what do I need? Girl, I don't know what you need in your house. You way over in another state. I don't know what you need. Oh my God, you ain't no help, girl. I don't know what you need in your house. What's in your house? What are you trying to get? That that's how that conversation went like every month about a year. She still do it every now and then, but uh, she's been on her own since probably nineteen or twenty. She's been on her own, so she's been out for at least. 10 years if not longer but uh she she kind of still do it to this day not as much but you know i'm like you know what you like you oh my god so let me tell you what she did so this one particular time she was at the uh, i don't know if she's at walmart or target or something she was buying the older ranch um uh you know she's getting household stuff right so she was like what i need i'm like i don't know what you need what you use she said i need some deodorant 
She was like, what kind of deodorant should I get? What kind of deodorant do you use? She like, she like, what do you use? So I told her, she said, okay, that's what I need. I'm like, how you gonna get what I use for you? She was like, because that's what I grew up on. So if you use it, I use it. You know what? If you don't get your life together, girl. So it's so crazy. So yeah, she still used the same toilet paper that I buy or that I bought when she was a kid. The same deodorant, the same sanitary napkins, the same toothpaste. You know, because she like, this is what I grew up on, so this is what I know. Okay, well, you need to explore outside the box and figure some things out. But it's okay. It is totally okay. I love my baby to death, and she can call me anytime talking about what she needs because I'm going to be like, girl, look. You know, God. And I also, my daughter. You know, guys, I don't have this one child. So my child, she she is spoiled to a certain extent. She don't think she is, but she really is. My child, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys that have one child. So what I'm about to say, post in the comments below if this. Okay. If this has happened to you or is still happening to you, your child has done this, and you just can't wait till your child's child get older so they can do this. My daughter will come over here with nothing but her purse and her keys to her car, but she will walk out. A big shopping bag full of whatever she needed. She would shop in my house. She go in the deep freezer. Get whatever she needs she want. She would look in the pantry. Get whatever she needed to go with that meat that she took out of the deep freezer. If she needs some toilet paper, she grab a few rolls of toilet paper. She said, mm, I need some soap and deodorant. Because she know mama bad for everything in bulk. It's cool. I don't care. I love her to death. Because that makes me feel my baby still needs her mother. You know, I know she's grown. She handles things on her own. She does things her way. But, you know, sometimes... You know, kids need little help. You know, help the kid out. I don't care. And she she hasn't done it in a while. And I you know I kind of feel some type of way about that, but it's okay. So she uh recently started. Nope, I take that back. What's this? This is July. Probably about five or six months ago, she recently started. Why do I keep saying recently? Five or six months ago. She stopped eating um, beef and pork. So now her diet is mainly um, chicken, fish, turkey. Um, yeah, so it's like, it's kind of, I mean, it's good in a way. And it's kind of messed up in a way because I have gotten so, like I said, we work together. And I know... 99.9.2% of the time she's not bringing lunch. So, a lot of times when I'm cooking, hey baby, hey mommy, what's your baby girl? What's your girl? A lot of times when I'm cooking, um, I will cook enough. Every time when I cook, I cook enough for dinner and then lunch the next day and possibly dinner also um let's say it depends on what it is i'm cooking so um i would uh fix my lunch and i'll fix her a lunch too because i know like I said, she didn't bring anything because her thing is um whatever she cooks if there's leftovers she's gonna leave it for um for the grandbaby to eat for dinner or when she gets home from school she's gonna leave it for her which is cool because as a parent, 
you're supposed to make sure that your child is taken care of at all times. But anyway, yeah, so I was doing that and um now she doesn't eat beef or pork. So I'm like, oh, so now I can't feed you, huh? I feel some type of way about that. But it's okay. If I cook some chicken, I'm taking some chicken. If I cook some turkey, I don't cook turkey that often. Unless it's like some turkey burgers or something like that. I can fix a whole meal. I can take out all the sides, but she can't eat no meat. But it's okay. You know, she's grown. That's her choice. That's what she wants to do. So, you know, it's fine. It is all good. So, I mean, it's okay. Um, she's trying to kind of live a little healthier lifestyle. I don't know how much healthier it is, healthier it is, but it's not like she like lost weight or anything. I don't see it, but then again, I see her every day. So, yeah. But um, uh, so I'm sitting on the porch, and my neighbors just turned their music on, and um, I'm hoping that it does not catch on this recording because the uh, video before this one that cook with me I was hoping that you guys didn't hear the music that was playing in the garage but as I was listening you can actually hear it so I don't know how I'm going to fix that because I do not want to um, delete the video. I'm going to post that video. If I have to take a strike before I get my foot in the door, then that's what I'm going to have to do. Because um, that's actually, that cook with me, that's actually the third one. Today was the third one that I've done. The first the first one, um, the camera kept cutting off and I wasn't uh, like really didn't know how to do the edit and paste stuff together to make it work. I didn't know how to do that, so I deleted it. The second one... What happened with the second one? What happened with the second one? Who was that the second one? I don't know. Some... Anyway, it didn't get put up, so, um, yeah, so I, I kind of know better, um, how to edit and, uh, things like that and, and piece stuff together and add stuff, take away stuff and kind of trim stuff. I, I kind of know how to do it a little bit, you know, I, I posted a video, um, yes. Yesterday, I, I take that back. It's not, it's not live yet. Um, it's scheduled to go up in a couple of days. I think I have maybe three or four videos that's scheduled to go up this week, and I believe I think a video went up today. Today is Sunday. I think one is up today. I don't know what it is. There's one coming up Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Um, also, guys, I I am testing out a new intro. So, um, I don't know if it, those last three that I just mentioned has it or... You know, it probably does. I don't know, but I'm testing out a new intro because I want something more brighter. And, uh, excuse me. Um, yeah, I want something brighter because I like the one... Oh my God, excuse me. I do like the one that I had, the very first one. But it's just like, it's too dark to me. I want something bright and eye-catching and uh, things like that. So, I'm testing out some new stuff. So, 
if you see 10 different intros that's the reason why I'm, I'm just testing out um, because I'm doing this on my own I'm learning this as I go and um, I'm trying to see exactly what I like best so the one that I, I have in the last couple of videos and you'll probably see it in this video too is the new one um so like I said, I'm testing out some features I'm testing out some things uh, as far as editing and stuff like that because I have never guys in my life have ever done this before and I have to say I should have gotten in this field a long time ago. It's like, it's really cool. It's interesting. It's like, you, you making new stuff all the time. Even if it seems the same, there's a piece or two that just slightly different. And it's kind of cool. Actually, you know, once you e edit everything and then put it together. And so, so what I do is... I have the original video and I'm looking at the original video okay and then I see the video that I edited I play the original back then I play the edited back and then if there's something else that I want to tweak I edit it again so I'm playing the original and I'm playing the edited version I'm like damn that is nice I mean as far I mean I know some of you guys have some awesome I mean awesome editing skills I'm just starting out brand new to this <clears throat> but I'm like wow wow because you know how you, you like click buttons I'm like oh I shouldn't click that I'm like <coughs> girl click that button that's what it's there for click the damn button that's why it's there click the button and see what it do you got the original here if you don't like it just uh because if you, I don't know if you know this or not, a few, probably the first maybe five or six, maybe, hell, maybe ten videos, they're not edited. They're not edited. I just, uh put the information in there and did it but then I'm like I don't like this I don't like this let me fix and I just start clicking buttons guys I love editing I wish I learned this shit a long time ago because a bitch would be an editor right now but anyway it is not too late anywho um but yeah so those videos are not edited you're gonna see some that actually are edited and uh I actually learned this week how to uh, speed up the video because what happened um, if you know I have this microphone and uh, I have an adapter to the microphone to extend it and I was moving around the room and the microphone the the adapter the cord it got caught under the chair and when I moved, it snatched it out a little bit. Not, it didn't come all the way out, but it did snatch it out a little bit. And I didn't realize it. So it was like, I'm just talking for like 20 minutes. I'm talking, cleaning this room. Not even trying. I'm just trying to clean the room. But I'm talking for like 20 minutes. And when I looked at the video and I saw the voice information, then it just went, like flat line. Right? I'm like, so I'm like, how can I do this? So I'm like, how do I speed up this video? And I did, I'm like, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, so yeah, that's how that happened. I learned how to put words on the screen. Girl, yes. Bitch, learn that shit too. Ah, yes. So, um, my videos are going to get, um, a little more better I know you guys probably like this bitch can't do shit but yeah I'm learning I'm learning as I go yes I am so I'm gonna get it together and uh anywho guys I am going to get off here now and um cause I think I've held you guys up too damn long it is 
45 minutes into this video. And guys, this camera is stopping not one damn time. While I was cooking, this camera kept fucking stopping. <laughs> it kept stopping. Anywho, I'm going to get off here now. It's been 45 minutes. I'm going to talk to your ear off. And uh, I will see you guys. Oh, comment below. Anything. Ask me questions. I'm trying to do a Q&A. Ask me questions. Hey. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ask me questions. I answer the questions. Um, y'all say you can go to my Instagram. I think, oh my God, y'all, I gotta find the Instagram. I don't even know. I think it's Miss Lindsay, M Z L I N Z Y. My Facebook is Michelle Dot Lindsay L I N D S E Y. I have a Twitter account, but like I said, guys, I don't even get on Twitter. I haven't been on Twitter in about six, seven years, so scratch Twitter. I have a Snapchat account, but I did a Snapchat, but I never got on it, so scratch Snapchat. Instagram and Facebook. That's where you can find me. Um, ask me questions. Uh, I'm going to do a Q&A. And like I said, I'm going to uh, do uh, part two of my favorite movies. Um, that will be coming soon. There are some videos that's scheduled to come out this week. So make sure you check those out. And I'm going to go, guys. I have held you guys way too long. This video is like too long. Hope you guys like seriously stay interested. I'm so sorry. Anyway, comment, like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell so you not missing up from here. Y'all, that's that's just enjoy me so sorry. Cause y'all know I don't need that. But anyway, I talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.